Hi kids, today we're going to use the area model to solve a couple multiplication problems. The first problem we're going to do is a three digit by a one digit. Three times 251. The first thing we need to do is draw our area model. Because we have a one digit times a three digit, we will only need one row going across, but we will need three columns. We will put the three to the left, our smaller number on the outside, and then we're gonna break up our 251 into place value across the top. So that will give us 200 plus 50 plus one. We're gonna take our three on the outside and multiply that by the number in our first, above our first box, 200. So when I have three times two, that's six, and then we need to bring down the two zeros so 3 times 200 would give us 600. Then we're going to go over to the next box and we're going to do 3 times 50. 3 times 5 is 15 and we have one zero, so that's going to give us 150. We're going to go over to our next box and we just have 3 times 1. And of course we know that 3 times 1 is 3. Now we're going to take all of these answers and we're going to add them up. So we have 600, we have 150, and we have three. We're gonna add those together and we get 753. So three times 251 is 753. For our next problem, we're gonna do a two digit by a two digit. We're gonna do 24 times 35. The first thing we do again is draw our area model. This time, because we have a two digit by a two digit, we're going to need two rows and we're going to need two columns. We're gonna do the same thing and break our numbers up by place value. We're gonna start with our smaller number and put that along the side and that would be 24. So that would give us 20 plus four. Then we're gonna take our larger number, 35, and we're gonna do the same thing, break that up by place value and we're gonna put that at the top. So we have 30 plus five. Now. We're gonna go box by box. So our first box, on the side, we have 20, and on the top, we have 30. So we're gonna do 20 times 30. Well, we know that two times three is six, and then we have one zero in the 20 and one zero in the 30, which is two zeros. So that gives us 600. We're gonna go over to our next box, which is still 20 for the side and five for the top. So we're going to do 20 times five. Two times five we know is 10. We have one zero on the 20, so that gives us 100. We're gonna go down to the bottom and we have four, and then at the top we have 30. So four times 30. We're gonna do four times three, which is 12, plus we need one more zero from that 30, and that'll give us 120. Our last box, we have four times five, which we know is 20. Now we're going to add all of these up. So we have 600, 100, 120, and 20. We're gonna add them together and we get 840. 